Hello everyone, this is Mishkat from the Communication of Success, helping you achieve your success in the workplace. So you have been searching over the internet, you found a job that is most suited for you, you decided to apply for the job. When you read the application, it says cover letter optional. And you said, okay, maybe I should skip that part and just send them uh, the resume. I'm here to let you know that actually you do need to send them a cover letter. Here is why. Cover letters are additional tools that you can use to sell yourself, to better position yourself as a successful candidate for the position. Rather than relying heavily and solely on your resume, the cover letter are an additional safety blanket, if you wish, for you to showcase your skills. On the other hand, cover letters set you apart from other candidates who did not send a cover letter. It will better position you, it will put you on a better position to uh, be a successful candidate for that job. Last but not least, cover letters showcase your writing skills. Any job, no matter how humble it is, no matter how important it is, they are looking for someone who can write well. If you can write well, you have an additional value to the company. Okay, how should a successful cover letter look like? I have four steps for you to uh, create a successful and effective cover letter. Step number one, make the cover letter layout eye-friendly. For example, on the left-hand side of the paper, write the company's name and address then uh, in the middle put the subject line which will be applying to such and such position then you need to address it to someone which is really very important here so you either research who is the hiring manager you can also phone the company and know who is the hiring manager so the first part is to say dear hiring manager then three paragraphs then you conclude by writing your name phone number and email and address make sure to have spaces between each paragraph make sure that each new idea starts with a new line so that's the general layout if you have you know, preferences or personal preferences, feel free to incorporate them. However, the most important thing is when you look at the letter, it should be eye appealing to the eye. It should be eye catching, eye appealing to the person who is reading it. Step number two, address it to someone. So, if you don't know who is the hiring manager, either pick up the phone and call the company and ask them. Uh, look at the company's website. See if they have a hiring manager and what is his or her name. If you don't know that information or you cannot find that information, simply say, Dear Hiring Manager or Dear Hiring Committee. It's very important to address it to someone rather than say to whom it might concern. It's not really a good start. We need the letter to be engaging. Step number three, the content. Select three skills that you have and connect them to the company's need. So rather than rewriting whatever is in your resume or copy paste from your resume to the cover letter select the skills so let's say you are a highly organized 
person. Okay, that is not reflected somehow in your resume. It's true, you can say created schedule, created timelines, um, created um, uh, materials and whatnot. However, still, you can take the skill of being organized and reference it in the cover letter. Especially if the position requires someone to be organized. For example, you are applying to be a secretary or an office manager. The successful candidate must be organized. It's your chance, your opportunity to reflect that in the cover letter. So choose whatever skill you have which was not highly referenced or highly mentioned in your resume and incorporated into the cover letter. Step number four, which is the most important step, request an interview. Conclude the letter by requesting an interview, which is the whole purpose of the cover letter. For example, you can say, I'm more than happy to come and talk to you in person about my credential that will make me the best candidate for this position. I also want to give you some tips on how to write the cover letter. Um, make sure to review for typos and errors. You can either do so by reading the letter out loud and see how it sounds to you, or ask a friend to read it uh, for you or proofread it for you. Make sure to save the letter as a PDF file rather than Word document. If you are emailing the letter, you are not 100% sure when the person opens it, it will open well for them. Things will not shift because their computer is different than yours or they are using a different program or a different application. So make sure to save it as a PDF file. This way, when they open it, everything is as you uh, laid it out and it's the same format for every computer. Last but not least, don't send the same cover letter for every position you are applying to. I know writing can be challenging and sometimes it's very difficult to generate new ideas every now and then and you feel this is a wonderful cover letter, I'm going to send it to three, four companies. I wouldn't do that. Each company is different. Each position is different. The most important thing is to tailor the cover letter to the company's need. So don't make the cover letter work against you. Make, make the cover letter work for you. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please hit the like button. Um, so that I know I helped you and you are uh, benefiting from these tips, please feel free to share the video with any friend who's applying for a job or about to write a cover letter, and hopefully these tips will be helpful to them. Thank you, and I look forward to talking to you in the next video.